All right, I think we're yeah, live. We're live. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel and Sean's channel, Nerd Sense. Hey guys. And uh, once you hey subscribe, hit, the, hit our notification bells. You'll get all the updates. Uh, so I kind of spoiled it already, if you couldn't tell. But I'm uh, currently with Sean from Nerd Sense. <laughs> and because oh, at first I was like, "What did you spoil?" I, I wasn't following. That, that you're here, I guess. Between the title and me, you being on screen and me saying you're here, one of those three things probably spoiled it for the yeah, people. Yeah, I would, I would imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> <You're funny. laughs> so um, we just got uh, a box from Hot Butcher. And uh, thought, hey, let's do a live stream where we unbox it. So that's why Mike's not here. Um, I'm really excited because for people who don't know, the last box um, FedEx delivered to my house. And I went outside 15 minutes after it was delivered to my house and it wasn't there. So um, not sure what deliver means. And I was about 10 feet from the door when it was delivered with my dog. And, you know, it's a, he's a dog. And usually when someone, you know, makes noise at the door, he barks. So Anyway, very excited to get this. <laughs> That's so um, weird, though. I, I just don't get that. Like, how did the Fed, like, they, didn't they contact the FedEx driver and the, you just said? I contact, I mean, I, when, I, when I contacted him, they're like, well, give it a couple of days. Maybe it'll show up. And then it didn't. And then I wasn't going to, like, put it on Jeremiah, like, from Hot Butcher to be like, hey, man, you know, you better track this down. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the free beer you send me illegally. Yeah, let's yeah, let's put that out there. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, some hot butcher. You know, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know all yeah. about that, my friend. All right, Sean. Um, well, first things first. What are we drinking? What are we drinking? Oh, so I'm drinking, which I thought it was going to be terrible. I, I actually wasn't even planning. I, I I reviewed it within like the three minutes I had b before I got on with you. I wasn't going to review it at all. I was like, this is going to be hot as hell. Headroom. Oh, whoa. So. I just picked this up today. It was released yesterday. And usually this beer does not do it for me. Usually it is just like, it burns my throat. I get acid yeah. reflux. It's, I am super shocked. It is very good. Um, and then I looked at the, and then in the middle of the year, I looked at the Canon date. It was can the 28th. So they let this sit for a whole week. So they knew. Well, yeah. me, that's, that's definitely a thing that we agree about on our two channels is happy trillion beers. Give them a little bit of time to, to yeah. let that vegetal hop burn thing subside. So good on them. Good on them for doing yeah. that and maybe waiting a little bit. I heard the release yesterday, Saturday, was, you know, pretty. But I also hear they're doing a good job with, with the cars coming through and all that. Yeah, I went today. And um, so this was released yesterday, but then they actually kept allotments back for today, which was really cool because I wasn't planning on getting it. I was like, there's no way I'm going to get it. But I knew I was going for Black is Beautiful. And I was just like, all right, I'll get it if, if it's going to be available. And I pulled in down the street and I just saw a sea of cars. And then it looped all the way around. And I was like, I'm going to be here forever. But they have it down like a science. And it was like 10 minutes, um, like probably 50 cars yeah. in front of me. But like people, and like JC was, was doing it himself too. He was he brought out my order. He's like 189. But when I'm like, wow, this this guy's work yeah, ethic is. <laughs> if you ask him if you want to do a live stream, <laughs> I should have. <laughs> you got to get business cards. My wife's always like, you got to get business cards, and I'm like, it's not a business. But I I mean like that would be a perfect situation just to like quick like I mean I know with social distancing yeah. and stuff, but like somehow try to like whatever. Get and again, it. the last review that 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 he would have seen was probably the channel charge review, the vitamin C collab, and I don't know if he's <laughs> too happy with that one. <laughs> You know, but I mean, and I don't know him at all, obviously, but like, I think like a lot of businesses, you want feedback, good or bad, you know, I mean, and, and actually, I mean, not to try to segue into what we're the bulk of this video, but like, I know it's a big thing for Jeremiah Hot Butcher is just the, the not, not quality control, but just like, okay, what do people think about it? And I remember him talking about, like, it's cool to go on a tap and see, oh, this beer has a 4.1, but like, that's all the person put, they put a picture of it. They put a four, you know, whereas, you know, maybe, you know, we can offer a, a more a thorough bit, review, a it's good or bad, you know, but uh, KPU is excited about the headroom. Oh, like, nice. On his wish list. Does headroom hot profile change? I don't know about that. So when they first released it, I don't think they ever said what hops were in it. They finally did. It was either that or Big Bird. They still don't say what hops are in it. But this one, they, they, it, it's Mosaic Galaxy in Columbus. So it doesn't change. But the last few years I've had it, it was just like a giant kind of mess of hops okay. um but i've never really had it in like been able to have it over the course of time i always either had it fresh or 
midway through. So, but again, like this big bird, these these are the beers that they say like they're the most hopped per barrel, and okay. it's just. Were you has not hesitant to buy it, but to buy a volume, um, um, like a large amount of it? So it was only two four packs of regular headroom and okay. one max headroom. Max headroom's like the whatever the amped hopped version oh, okay, of this. Cool. Um, and yeah, no, I I I bought max because of one of the guys that that sent me the um the dogfish head utopias utopias he was like hey are you getting headroom and i was like i don't plan on going and then when i went today and i and i was like there's there's no way it's not going to sell it in a day and then when i realized that they kept the allotments back i was like yeah if i'm going i'll just get max and i'll send him a bunch of cans because <laughs> he outdid himself with that nice yeah what and, are you drinking uh, kp appreciates the answer oh, yeah, nice um, yeah, so I, I I did a review right before this too. It was crazy. Like we we're doing all this yard work, and uh, so I'm like, I'm still sweating. Like I, I'm like, honey, I gotta go in for like it's like 4:30. I, I want to do this live stream at five. Give me like half an hour to stop sweating. I'm still sweating. <laughs> and uh, but I did do a review because a uh, pariah just sent me a can of this. Uh, dank, 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 oh, dank, drank. Yeah, what a great name. And uh, it's, I mean, spoiler, I, there will be a proper review. I reviewed it before the live stream, and I'll post it probably. Wednesday maybe. Um, this is great. It does have that day. It's a it's a hazy IPA. It's got some New England qualities, but it, it brings the dank. And, and we've talked. Here's another thing we've talked about. I love drinking New England IPAs. It's sometimes it's hard to review them. It's a lot of like, the the same the same flavor profile you mentioned. Yeah. You know, like okay, which of which of the six things am I? You know, so it, it's you know, does it taste for me? It's kind of boiling down. Does it taste good? Does it drink like a beer? Like just like kind of differentiate. Is it so fruity? It's just straight juice yep. or does it drink like a beer? And then the third thing is there's something unique about it with the dankness kind of being a little bit more than what I'm used to in these New England styles lately. It was a little different. The, the aroma had some cool, interesting things happening. So it definitely fit all three, which was awesome. Um, you know, it was really good. But anyway, so how do you want to do this? Because like hey, we don't know what's, what's you what. You might open one a part of the package and whatever we'll just um, yeah let's just do it who cares cool man should we open the we'll open the last thing last the last thing last <laughs> yeah there's something in this box that is a different shape than anything we've ever gotten they're so not cans I'm, I'm curious These are packaged like how I package. Beers. I was gonna say this is so the last box that I got, um, it came in a whale pod. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because was it Drecker? Isn't that who it was? Drecker. Yeah, because we had sent them some beers. Yeah, because I made a joke to, to Jeremiah. I'm like, you stepped up your game, and he's like, oh no, full disclosure. So I don't. Maybe somebody <laughs> or he's gonna be like, somebody else packed this box. Yeah. <laughs> Usually right. it comes like different box. beers. The one I opened, I actually haven't seen on. So I, at least I didn't notice on social media. So I have a beer. I didn't even know that they made. Want me to go first? Am I supposed to be hiding these? Okay, go. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I mean, what, it's, it's so goofy. Um, <laughs> I sore. I don't remember seeing pictures of this yet. That I think is brand new. It is canned on the 4th, and today's the 9th. Yeah, wow. So Fly Like an Eagle, it's – I have never heard of this. Tetnanger is the first top. Hort – Nine nine zero nine. Is it oh, I did. Yeah. Y -E -T? How do you pronounce that? Why Oh yeah. Y -E -T? Y -E -T? Hopped. Mexican style lager. Four point seven five percent. Right up my alley. <laughs> so it's a style that you like. I I know less about this than you do, and it's got two hops I've never even heard of, and a third hop I can't pronounce. Yeah. Which shows you how <laughs> well I know that hop. So okay, Sor. Okay. Um, what I have is I have dark black. These we definitely have seen on, on social media. Oh, wait, there we go. Um, this is an Imperial stout brew with maple and sea salt. Oh yeah. These are going to be. So we've only had one stout for them, right? The peanut butter one, peanut butter chocolate. Yeah. 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 The, I forget, the bear, fat, fat bear. bear. Fat bear. I actually have a, I, I found a can up in the upstairs fridge cause he sent us two and we drank one. And then I found it today, and I was like, "I I think we're gonna toss it to Reed just to be like." That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, I oh my god, that one was so good. That was a cool one because it was delicious. I'm wondering, and, and I, I'm wondering about this one. Same thing. It was delicious, 
but it wasn't like a complex beer. Like that beer was just peanut butter, chocolate stout, and like yeah, it was sweet. Like that was another descriptor we could say. So I'm wondering with this one if it's gonna be kind of a similar thing. Like this is delicious. I get maple. You know, I don't know. Like, but maple stout all day, every day. Yeah. Um, KPU thinks it's an homage to oh Tecate. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so KPU, are you are you from Chicago? I think from the comments before, yes. Yeah, he's uh, in yeah Chicago land. Yeah, it was a place when I visited my cousin in in, in Chicago, and they had Tecate, and they had it with like they mix it with um. It wasn't like a, uh, a a Michelada, I don't think, but they're giving it with like some random shot that was a Chicago thing. It was like a taco place, hmm. uh, and I was just drinking like like me and my cousin just day drank all day, and I was just drinking Tecate all day long. It was, <laughs> It was amazing. Well, nothing wrong with that. So he says he likes Fat Bear better. Okay, okay. that's fair. I mean, I love peanut like the the peanut chocolate and peanut butter does. Yeah, like for me, I pick that over maple and, and sea salt. <laughs> and, and I've said this on a channel before. Like I used to make, help my grand, great grandfather make maple syrup, so like I am a maple syrup fiend. So yeah, I'm all about that. Oh, um, right. Yeah, he's from the Chicago uh, suburbs. Live right by Butcher District. Nice, nice, perfect. It's not to be. I don't think it was – no, it definitely wasn't. So Ross, speaking of Chicago, Ross is also a Chicago oh, nice. dude. Ross is, Ross is the one that we just did that trade, and I got the um, – Oh, the Goose? Goose Island. Uh, oh, nice. yeah, the, the Black is Beautiful, those two uh, – revolu- oh, I said Russian Revolution. Those two uh, Revolution. You just did a Revolution collab. Did you see that? I did see that. I forgot, but, yeah, it was just like yesterday. They did three. Yeah, there were three in the picture, yeah. And then the they, wolf, which I was excited for. Yeah, they said that two is going to distro, but not distro by here, though. Okay. Which sucks. And it looks Wait, like Dan. It looks like both Dan's are there. People watching. I'm, I'm, I think I finally fixed oh. my camera and everything. So if, if someone's looks- watching mine's tell me, does it look and sound okay? No, you look and sound fine. I'm, yeah, I'm okay, thanks. So, yeah, so I imagine the watching the same thing. I mean, we're talking like months of me trying to figure this stupid camera out. <laughs> oh, okay. You go what? first. We have two okay. different ones. You go first. All right. These are the same. Uh, herbs in Horto. It's pretty fucking badass can art. That's one of the coolest. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, you know how to pronounce his last name. Dan, was it Jetsa? Dan Jetsa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, yeah. Sorry, I got a towel nice. off. I'm pulling a map for massive beer reviews. I got a <laughs> towel off. Um, but, uh, like, I mean, just the kind of art is actually, Sean, I think you said the same thing recently. Like, or maybe it was Mike. Um, your wife probably wouldn't even mind some of these if they were hung. Yeah. On the was it you? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah. Like he's just a fantastic artist, and that the 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 label combination with just a legit like great artist. All right. So what's what? Tell us about that beer. I kind of wish I didn't read the tasting notes because I wanted to be surprised. But uh-huh. one, 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 one of the tasting notes says pink lemonade. I'm not going to read the rest. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds amazing, uh, but it's uh, Strata and, and Mosaic hopped. Um, Mike and I just did one of the last ones um, that had Strata in it, and I think I'm getting. I think the thing I get with Strata is strawberry. Okay, because there was a previous hop butcher beer that I think I had Strata in it, and I think strawberry was like the the key thing that I got from it. I don't know if that makes sense to you. No. Okay. Now this one, I'm curious about because of some of the stuff they said with their social media posts. Mm. A digital frontier, and then they're calling it. It's like triple um, the grid that they have. It's like yep. a triple version of that. From what the we triple, it's, it's a triple version of double grid, or it's it's the triple version of that. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. We just uh, we just did double grid too. Sorry again. <laughs> Intro <laughs> mosaic hopped triple IPA, ten point five percent ABV. I guess we won't read tasting notes. That can be for the reviews. Yeah. But I mean, again, like just sweet can art. It's oh, just, dude, it's awesome. I love that. Um, all right, a couple comments. Like, yeah, can oh, oh, yeah. Have you ever had Malort? No. Oh, it's I've never had Malort in general, but I've had um, Dark Matter made a Malort conditioned um, coffee. So they have like, like remember little coffee cans? Oh, yeah, the, the, the ones I sent you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. It yeah. was terrible. <laughs> we've, we've talked about this before. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot about it. We had that conversation. <laughs> Nice. Here, I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, yeah, that way. I did like prop it up so I could put stuff here. Oh, I guess the comments. Yeah, the only thing is 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 our cameras are because because the way that that it's yeah, shrink down. closer than Strata you. is in blazed orange. Oh, really? Blazed orange is freaking great. 
That beer is awesome. That beer is awesome. Um, oh, Kent Beer re Reviews. Yeah, make sure people – yeah, check out Kent for Here's sure. Good dude. Strata is – oh, that, thanks, Ross. Hey, where do you guys live, by the way? Uh, if you're talking to me, I'm in upstate New York and Sean's in – I'm in Massachusetts. Um, if you're talking to people in the comments, feel free, guys, to chime in. Um, yeah, I'm in the capital region of New York, upstate. I'm in the Merrimack Valley that nobody's going to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I, here's my – oh. Sean just talked about it. Love that. Yep. I mean, come on. Does it feed me, Seymour, right? <laughs> Oh, oh another new one. Oh boy. Wow. I'm excited for this one so much. Okay. You want me to show it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. I've been ever since I saw the print, I was like, I need to have that beer in my life. Um Citra, El Dorado, and Belma Hop double IPA. But yeah, look at this. I want to believe in then like the UFO. Oh my goodness. So I can't I mean, we, there's no secret about i mean your yours is right in the name of your channel that we are big nerds yeah um, x files i never tried it i never actually like i was very recent into it within okay. the last th two years um I, I i just i just binged it i got it all and then i just watched it all over the course of a couple weeks i should watch it because i'm sure i would love it, it was that and star trek were shows that like like my parents are divorced i you know i spent time at both houses and um um i think my mom kind of had two shows that like kids not that like that she thought they were inappropriate but just like i want some alone time and x files and star trek were like the two shows so there's like these two huge holes i have and like all these nerdy things i love and those are the two because yeah. typically she's like hey it's i want some alone time so let's not watch this together so yeah, I got to kind of watch maybe both of those, Star Trek and uh, X Files. I highly recommend it. Um, I I didn't. Well, I only the, actually the main reason I watched X Files was was, was right around the time. So whenever the um, reboot, not, well not reboot, but but the yeah, yeah. new seasons came out, that that was my reasoning to do it. Um, and yeah, it was really great. Uh, and yeah. then and then and then and then I went on and I watched the. They did a spinoff with like the 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 three other guys in it. Um, they had like a spinoff show. There was okay. actually two spinoffs. There was one that was one, and, and that and then the show Millennium was another spinoff. But I never watched. I never watched that. I don't know if it went that deep. Um, yeah, it went pretty deep. I, I think Millennium was more of a it, like it happened on X Files and they spun it out and it was more just like a, I think it was just a way for Fox to make another show <laughs> and use the X Files <laughs> as, like, as, like, as like the launching pad and be like, hey, everyone loves the X Files. I mean, capitalism. <laughs> uh, no wonder you guys get to, you know, what's interesting because, um, and we we're, were talking about this earlier in the broadcast that, um, like Jeremiah has verbalized, he just he likes the more in depth, like talking about a beer, but. It has at least once. We got two different ones destroyed by me. It was Kielbasa, Kielbasa King, and I forget the other one. But the same day, we got both locally. So there's a little bit of distribution in New York. And um, we got them, I think, a week or two after you. And there, was, yeah. I think, they, I think Baskin was one. There was another one, but he said that it was sent just because their distributor had them. They like let's bring them out and. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's necessarily a sign of things to come. Yeah. No. Um, and he's saying the release of Want to Believe is the best yet. Ooh. That's okay. That's cool. I live in the county of Kent, southeast of London, nowhere near. Yeah, <laughs> near where they <laughs> Kent, near where they go. Makes sense. That's very cool. I think I said not where, near where. Sorry. Nice. Uh, a really good friend of mine was from Slough, um, who he unfortunately passed away. So I always think about him because he was a big craft beer guy too. Are you a fan um, of The Office? He, you know what he did like he did, not the American one. Yeah, the, the UK version from. from but he was all about the, the David Brent one. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I just realized. Speaking of, we'll, we'll go back to. I want to believe real quick. Belma hops. Never had it. Have you? Belma. Belma. B e l m a. I don't think so. It's Citra Eldorado and Belma. Yeah, I never had it. Well, and that's that's something. I, I think the first time we got beer from them, I didn't kind of pay attention to like the hops. Like, and that we said better like um if they had hops i hadn't heard of but matt from mass it talks about it like how they mess around with hops like it was pretty obvious they like to hand select hops when they yeah. can yeah but the like just messing around with different hops is definitely like part of their mo 
Yeah, I think they, them were, they were the first time I probably had strata properly or the strata that I noticed that I can think they, of. They were, if not the first, the first I was aware of to do Sabu, yeah. which what, what, I heard the uh, Thunderbolt, that beer was whatever. Yeah, it was. that was, was really so good. freaking good. Okay, so here's I want to. Yeah, and here's my sore. Nice, nice. This Mexican lager is just gonna. So this last one, well, the last except for the last last, should be the maple stout for me. Right, and then this should be, yeah. I know, uh, and he gave us a big shout out. So I know Rod J just got a box from Jeremiah and Hot Butcher, and Sean and I had put his name out there. So uh, definitely check out his channel. Yeah, Rod's Rod's awesome. Yep, Digital Frontier. Mike, if you're watching, you have a shitload of beer at my house. Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> too funny, too funny. He has um, this, he has Trillium, he has Notch. <laughs> heck yeah. Yeah, unique hot combos for sure. Using less. Yeah, I, I think I think that is a perfect way to say it. Uh, unique mixing of hops and then mm -hmm. also lesser known hops. Yeah, I think that's and yeah, so I've noticed. Yeah, I, I think you're spot on KPU uh, for sure. Um, Sean, should we get into whatever this last weird thing is? You guys want to drink the digital for digital frontier here live? None of these are cold. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> I asked Kyle if if he was able to fit his in his fridge. I, I actually moved like all the stuff in the in in, in the fridge downstairs, like because I, I I have like a Brita downstairs. Yeah. I took that out and I tried putting the box in, and it just it wouldn't shut. So. Uh yeah no these are warm and I, I I'm not trying to do that right now. <laughs> no, remember the last time you did a warm review right out of the box. I don't remember what remember was the mystery beer I sent you. Oh, all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. All right, let's pull this out. All right, so this is this is okay. I don't want to spoil anything, Sean, but oh, I can't see it anyways. It's 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 double wrapped. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you... I just I know I heard something when I picked it up. I I, I don't. Sean got mad at me before the um, video for saying anything about potentially what this is. I don't want spoilers. You were right, Kyle. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so it does feel like a bottle. It's a, my knowledge, they don't bottle beer. So I don't yeah, know. unless in, – in, in the three collabs they did with, with Revolution, two were IPAs and one was a Pilsner. So there's no way that this they would bottle a Pilsner and two IPAs. Yeah, I doubt right? I, mean... <laughs> I, I have mine open not at all right now. Okay. How, how, how about this? I can't see it yet. I we, we both know it's a bottle. Let's both pull it out together. All right, let me cut this top. He just off. said, ra oh, "Oh, rats!" About us drinking the. This thing. is like freaking yeah. Christmas morning. Wait, we could technically do the stout. No, we couldn't. No, that's definitely not. No, that's definitely no. No. Okay, mine. I haven't looked, but mine is out of the packaging. Hey, okay, mine is too. Okay. I'm trying you to ready? find where the label is. Yes, ready. Are you gonna look or show the audience first? Let's show the audience first. Okay. Oh no! You show me, and I'll show you. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? What the? Bourbon Barrel Age Imperial Stout. Oh, Miskatonic. Is this who they brew out of? Yes, because when I said, "Hey, I'm buying the Yetis," um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for them. He said, "Okay, we'll tell." The guys that miss a tonic to put it aside and I'll just throw it in your next box. So yeah, that's who this oh, is. That's man. awesome. That's freaking good. That's so yeah. freaking cool. Yo. And the funny thing, right before this, I was telling Kyle I had to do yard work too. I didn't do yard work. I, I was packing up black as beautiful beers for Kyle and Matt and other Yo. people. This is fucking awesome. Bourbon barrel aged stout 12%. I have more questions than answers from this. Like so they, so what you were just saying, I guess more from what you just said. So we know that they have proper brewers who brew mm -hmm. their beer at that facility. But then if you're, you're saying that he said, I'll tell those guys to set one aside. Are they, so maybe there's two like, breweries more interwoven than I think they are. 
Yeah, so it said the way he it. I think it the, the way I took it was he was going to say he was going to tell this guy to put it aside and then to to not ship it, essentially. Okay. And then he'll just pick it up and ship it with whenever that he shipped out that last box. So, yeah, I, I maybe they're just maybe they also have their merch there because he even said with 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 with, with the glassware he, he said he'll see what's around the brewery. So maybe they just keep the glassware and then they just have a. You're right because we yeah, when we were like some glassware would be sick. He did say check around the brewery. Ross, Ross's comment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of these breweries. Uh, Why did you get them in the barrel? Um, yeah, you know what? It, yeah, yeah. No, good comment, Ross. Good comment. Um, so, yeah, we had this conversation on a live stream, maybe on Matt's channel. Um, like, definitely when uh, Weather Soul put it out there. They were like, here's a recipe, tweak it, do your own thing. I, I, I'm trying to think, like, vitamin C did a sour fruited mm -hmm. beer, I think. Mortalis did a sour, too, I think, a black sour, dark sour, yeah. I think. We did. We saw um, some, a, a distillery distilled down a brewery's brewed version of it, like made like a, I don't know if you can call it a whiskey, a, a spirit out of it. Um, some meaderies have done it. I don't oh, really Jägermeister is like, well, we, we're not going to brew anything, but here's money. So like we have seen, you know, not the tradition, traditional recipe or the traditional with adjuncts. We have seen some funkier things. I don't even think I know what the, what the recipe is supposed to be. What's the base. It's, it's a very roasty stout. It's a very dry. It's, it's, um, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a Russian Imperial stout kind of, it, it, it has almost, this it, how I've been describing it some of the, in some of my videos, like one parent's a Russian Imperial Stout, one parent's a Black IPA. And it's just kind of like, and, and for like these people kind of doing the base beer. It's almost like, so from which parent did you take more attributes from? Because obviously there's similarities in those two yeah. styles, but they are different, you know. But um, I know Bissell also like very just to Gross's comments again. Bissell Brothers very quickly had a. Uh, maybe a, a blend of barrels so like they had beers already uh, obviously brewed and for something else that did it this way yeah yeah trilliums is a collaboration with white lion and they brewed a beer but then it says they blended it with beers that were already aging in rum barrels and bourbon barrels i think okay um but they didn't specify if it was trillium bourbon uh, it, well, I mean, if, if it was trillium stouts they blended with or if it was white lion stouts because white lion originally released it and i honestly when you sent me the, the the white lion thing i and they said it was losing in springfield i didn't expect it to make down to here like it yeah. was two weeks two weeks after they finally said okay trillium's gonna get an allotment of it and i imagine they must have brewed a shitload because it's a case limit and it's lasted for so long i mean the fact that because it was it was a friday release or a thursday friday release. friday release so the fact that you got it on sunday at a case yeah that's amazing yeah. Jeez. Yeah. But like so, I said, everyone wanted headroom, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is pretty freaking nuts, man. I mean. This is, yeah. Like I said, I, I didn't even realize this one was released. Because, like, and we follow their social media and stuff, so sometimes it's kind of obvious. Like, oh, yeah, this will probably be in the box. So, like, the fact that this actually had two things that completely surprised me is pretty rad. Yep. That's awesome. I think we have a new comment. Which – Oh, Which Massachusetts. Third sense? Mass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, Mike now is in New Hampshire, but oh, yeah. but the, the headquarters is still out of Massachusetts. Yeah, this is still Third yeah. Sense HQ. <laughs> <laughs> I think this we should probably do together. We should probably try to do. Yeah. So I'm curious. I'm very well. It hasn't been released. Oh, shit. Did we just. Wait, this hasn't this hasn't been released yet. Shit, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check their Instagram. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think. I mean, I don't think it would matter. But I don't think it will be mad that we. Like, I, I mean, oh no, 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 it has. Okay, it's been released, or they they've talked about it publicly. Okay, Ross, Ross said I'm wrong. Ross, Ross said I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Jeez, Ross, you're giving us a little heart attack, man. Like we did something wrong. <laughs> you see, no, Jeremiah blowing up for Um, I'm gonna assume that like Matt also got this. You know what happens when you assume Kyle? I know. I know. That sounds like something Mike would say to me, not you, Sean. 
Right, right, Ross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ross, you you got it, bud. Ross, do you know the the relationship between Hot Butcher and Miskatonic? Like, other than like they they brew out of there, they they clearly have some type of presence out of there. Is it like a is it like a is a collaboration more than they're just gypsy brewers using their facility? Like, like yeah, I guess because was it from Rare, R A R? Like one of the breweries, Rar, yeah, 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 right. And then another one was at some other cool brewery out there. Oh wait, I think we got some info. Mm, here we go. And I also heard, yeah. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sean had sent a box and it included a mystery beer, and I just I'm like, whatever, I'll just drink it as is, and I, I hated it. And then it was a Kolsch style. Yeah, it was a Trillium Kolsch. It was Sprang. Yeah, Sprang. Yeah, which I had favorite before. beer from them ever. <laughs> yeah, and um, not that like Kolsch is a style that has to. I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I saw. Here's a little local drama. Not, I mean, not too drama. I actually grabbed one. So a local brewery released a, a, a Kolsch, but it has bananas and passion fruit in it. So I'm like, that's just so weird. I yeah, I'm trying to do some more local beers anyway, and I'm like, well, yeah, it's a style I don't know very well, and it's got these weird fruit additions. Then I see a lo- an owner of a local bar on Instagram uh, put in their story like, you know what it tells me if you make a Kolsch and you have to put these fruits in it, that you messed up the Kolsch. Like, totally. Call- I didn't use their oh, name. Like, you did. There's no way they randomly picked the same style and the same two fruits to talk crap about. They brew there, but it's really bigger than them. Oh, they do brew at a few pa- places. Okay. okay. So, okay, that's interesting. Okay. I wonder if they ever could we I mean we definitely have had collabs from Hot Butcher. I wonder if they ever collab like what does that look like when you collab with the place that you brew your beer at? But I guess that they come in with their own guys to do the brewing process. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And it's in my head, Ross and KP are really good friends and hang out. And it, this is all in my head. That's that would make sense. Your Chicago area, dude. And, yeah, now they're just going back and forth. Living it up. That's 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 my hope. You're probably um, sitting outside someplace socially distancing, like, and they're just both watching together or they're going to be together. And just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually in person right now uh, with each other, but they're, yeah, watching on different cell phones or something. That's funny. Um, so, yeah, Sean and I kind of said, how about, you know, we don't go past six. We got almost half an hour. We could. I, I have another thing I could unbox that's not beer related. We could just talk and hang out. Certainly anyone that comments, you want to bring up thoughts or whatever, like we can keep a Chicago land area. We can talk about beer in general. We can do lots of stuff. I can talk more about how much my basement sucks with uh, <laughs> it flooding. <laughs> Uh, now we don't know each other, but Ross, and I, yeah, yeah, why not? You know, yeah, um, yeah. So, um, what do you have to unbox? At the very least, Sean will appreciate it because he and I are nerds together. So, um, Ooh. I do this every two months. I get uh, a box that from Funko that does like the pops, like all these things behind me, and so this is the 20th anniversary of the first X Men movie. So. This one might be fun to do. I'm in. All right, so right off the bat, we got a Funko pin with uh, Professor X with yeah. Cerebro, so that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. And I did wear this shirt. I got this shirt in these boxes, too. What does it say? Peter? Well, I didn't know that it says Peter. Oh, Peter say... Tingle. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah, the last one was a Black Widow box, and then obviously the movie didn't come out. So like, oh, they had it all ready to go. Oh, dude, that's so awesome! That's yeah. from the original cartoon. Dude. Well, the, yeah, yeah, I guess it is the original. Yeah, cartoon. no, I mean, yeah, it's like the um, the '90s cartoon and the well, I guess the, the arcade game was based uh, a little earlier than that. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. These are pretty cool. This is Logan. And he's got the bone claws. Oh, that's so awesome. That's sick. That's so awesome. And the this one, um, first movie's on um, Disney Plus now. They just put on Disney Plus. Okay, you'll like this. Definitely remember this from the movie. Mystique. 
dude as wolverine that's that's if that's great thinking, it's hard to tell with a glare but yeah no no you can tell yeah that that's awesome and then of course everyone's favorite although this is from the second movie not the first so negative one point for putting that in <laughs> we didn't have money in the budget for the first movie sorry oh dude the what? september theme marvel zombies oh shit I kind of miss like I I, I I did nerd 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 box or nerd block nerd block um, nerd block yeah I used to do that yeah. too. and and I did loot crate I kind of miss them sometimes but like there was just so much stuff that like what sorry was that everything you done the box yeah that's the whole thing yeah this one it, it's it's a little bit I mean but I like Funko like the best thing for me was when loot crate or nerd or uh, nerd block nerd box nerd block. Yeah, had no like a Funko, so I'm like, well, I'll just do the Funko one, and I love Marvel, yeah. so like, I'll never be disappointed. It's thirty bucks a month. So I got a T-shirt, two pops. I mean, right there, you're spending. Yeah, that's bucks, actually good. You know? Yeah, that's good. I just um, always yeah, found like good. sometimes I would have stuff that I wouldn't like be interested in. You know what I mean? And then like I'd be like, what do I do with it? Like over here, someplace I have like a Funko that's from like Fallout, and like I never got into the Fallout game, so I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? Like, yeah, and that's like being a teacher. It was okay when I did Loot Crate or Nerd Block because if it was something I wasn't into, at least one of my 130 students would be into it. Like, oh, oh nice. you like anime? Here you go, bud. You know, like yeah. that was nice. Uh, yeah, see, look, a friendship is forming. If nothing else comes fantastic. to this stream, we're forming friendship. Um, oh, Rod, what's up, bud? Cheers, Kyle and Sean. They, yeah. So this, Cheers, yeah, this, man. anyone doesn't know, this is the rod I mentioned earlier that he just got a, he just did an unboxing. I watched the beginning where he gave Sean and I a nice shout out. Then I'm like, wait, I don't want to know what's in the box necessarily. So I stopped watching. Did I miss the beers yet? Yeah. So we did. Everything here is, oh, actually, yeah, you can't see it. In our thing, box, but... Rod. And then I'm drinking um, from Pariah Dank Drink, oh. which is a pretty dank, like hazy IPA. And I've got headroom from Trillium. And then Sean's got to whip it out and show his uh, <laughs> hype train. <laughs> uh, I see Sean has some of the ones I have as well. Going to look for it. Yeah, nice, Rod. Yeah. Yeah, Sean and I, our boxes were identical. So we had the same. So I, so anything you see that he has, I'm curious if you have anything different then. That'd be cool. Ken's cheers and Rod. It'd be really awkward if he's like, I don't have the uh, this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> That's so weird. weird. Um, that'd be funny. Um, but yeah, no, Rod, great channel. Definitely check him out. Anyone who's watching this who who hasn't checked him out before. Um, yeah, so we've uh, we've done just to kind of talk about like like Sean had mentioned doing the black is beautiful together. Um, we are trying to do a live stream, at least one of Black is of some Black is Beautiful. Or everyone drinks a different one. Um, I emailed Weathered Souls trying to get at uh, Marcus, the uh, uh, co-owner and, and guy who came up with the idea. I think I'm just going to send him a DM on Instagram. Uh, you know, I'm old school. I sent an email, but I think that's probably a better way to get in touch with him because he seems to be up to doing live streams. So maybe we'll do more than one Black is Beautiful live stream. Uh, that'd be cool to get you know him on. Um, nice. Both you doing Sunday, right? You know that, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it actually is a good point. Like that's, there's a stout three IPAs and a Mexican lager. Removing oh, actually, the days. black is beautiful one because it's not technically hot, but Travis, see, this is probably the most diverse box of beers we've gotten from them. I'm trying to think when the Italian Pilsner came in. Oh, maybe was that the same? That come with the, that bear? That's what I was thinking too. But no, I think you, this is this probably is the most diverse. Is it's like yeah. double I. It's two double IPAs, right? A stout, the the lager, and then a triple IPA. So it's it's pretty damn diverse. And and we've had this conversation too. I mean, for a place called Hot Butcher, and you're getting a lager, you're getting a stout. You know, like mm -hmm. they're they're. They're on. I mean, when you put hop in your name, you kind of got to do that thing. Uh, I have eight beers with two of each. Is that the same for you? We had, I think, five beers, two of each, right? And here it's awkward. <laughs> Man, new guys getting all the love from Hot Butcher. Okay, I see you, Jeremiah. I see. No, I remember the same thing happened with us. Remember, because like we had whatever it was, and then Matt at Massive was like, oh, yeah, I, I, don't, I didn't, because he had already gotten them or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, there it's... wasn't, like, repeats. Yeah, that's it's funny. 
No, Rod, like, and, you know, obviously – because Rod's a really good reviewer, I'm, I'm super curious. Oh, I wonder if we got some from from the last box that uh, you didn't get. What's that? <laughs> oh, actually, it would make sense. He probably yeah. he probably did. Yeah. You know, because how far back are they gonna go? It probably would be like that round of yeah. stuff. I bet some of those beers are ones. Yeah. Yeah. Good way to rub salt in the wound, Sean. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> too funny. Too funny. So, uh, besides the black, is beautiful. Back to the hot butcher beers. We have kind of done, uh, you know, a joint review of a, typically one, if not like one for each channel. We skipped a couple boxes. Yeah, usually we'll be like a yeah. couple because we've been doing more because of I think with the quarantine and COVID stuff, we've been kind of doing more live streams in general. But um, yeah, it might be good to do one of those again, um, and then getting Mike's, you know, his half of these too, so everyone would have them. Let alone doing a bigger stream, you know, and now that we can open up and maybe some other people have these as well. But. Your wish is granted. Yeah. So Rod says, your wish is granted. Yep. Galaxy Bowl, Value of Midnight. Value of Midnight, is that the one with the, the werewolf on it? Then, yeah. But then that's the. Those are some of the ones from mine that got delivered. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah we so actually just reviewed Wishes you- Granted and Value the other night. But what were you going to say? Which ones have you released of? You released a review of. Uh, did I release any of them? No, we, did, we definitely released Galaxy Bowl. Val- uh, value of Midnight was a live stream you guys did. Oh, right? yeah. So Value of Midnight and Your Wish is Granted was, was what, what we did that Thursday night. Oh, okay. Cool. That was yeah, Thursday night. You should have told me you got – not that I would have jumped on it, but I would have watched. I caught it. It was, su- your thing. It was super last minute. So like we were so so we were on um, on on Google Meet right, ready just to record as normal. And mm-hmm. then I was like – I was like, "Hey, do you want to try Streamyard just just to see how it looks?" And then I got on there, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit! I made it public." And he goes, "And he goes, who cares?" And I was like, "All right, let's just go." So, so we just so we said, "Let's just screw. It. Let's just go live." Um, I'm oh, still gonna download it. It's in like, funny, right? What was it? Now it's it, now it can be 720, right? It always was 720, but they said it's better now. Oh, okay. So, and it did. It looked great. Uh, and, yeah, they, and this yeah, looks great. It looks, this looks great. So I'm still gonna download them, and I'm still gonna kind of split them in half and cut out some of the stuff just to release them as, as regular videos at some yeah. point. But yeah, yeah no, I, like I, I'm really happy with the uh, update that um, Streamer did. Right. Oh, okay. So he asked about the yeah, the Blaze Orange. Probably at this point, it was they wouldn't have any of that still at the brewery. No, no, they just rebrewed it. What they they just rebrewed it, blazed orange. Oh, they did. Yeah, it was oh, on Instagram. Okay. Maybe I didn't. Pro- like, I probably saw and just saw. Oh, I've I've had that. So, in one ear, out the other. You guys have had a bunch of great ones. What what's your guys' fave? Ooh, favorite double IPA from them so far. I that one, the jewels. Is that a double IPA or a single from them? But that's that was the one. That was like the the first one that was like how that was, is. yeah that was the first box too right yep. yep so i don't know if it's because that was like maybe the first one where i was just like this is i think i i said this this drinks like a trillion beer which to me is like about as crazy as you can say so i don't know if it was the newness of it like like the being exposed like the first time oh this is what this brewery is capable of and that's why that one comes to the forefront of my mm-hmm. mind but that's kind of my go-to, I think, for – okay, so it is a double, so that's nice. Um, that, so it does actually answer your question, KPU, um, because, uh, man. <laughs> I'm looking now. I'm just, I'm just going through the Instagram just looking at yeah, – yeah, the jewels probably was like – And then Rod's saying, yeah, value of midnight. Okay, yeah. On it. So that was when we did the live stream with yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's definitely a good one. Yeah, Rod, man, I – and I say that that link, um, but like I said, that's that's not a Rod J deal because to, to, you have to pay for that shipping. But um, yeah, man, like, I mean, you know me, Rod. I'm I'm on a mission to review as many of these as possible. Um, but yeah, I hope you can score some, dude. I mean, it just it seems like where you live, there'd be some popping up. None, able- none have showed up. I hope so. I mean, I just it just seems odd to me. They wouldn't. You're 100 right. Yeah, the, the jewels was a bit nice. Yeah, that that beer. I just and, and then because I kind of felt bad because if you're a brewery, do you want to be compared to another brewery or not? But like, I just I couldn't not think of Trillium when I had that. Um, it was just so good. Um, 
It was a cherry popper. <laughs> so wait, is, is, is Rod not getting you're not getting any black is beautiful out there? No one's brewing it. He hasn't no, because I it must have been he commented on one of my videos, one of my black is beautiful beers that he hasn't been able to get any. For me, oh double grape. I haven't had that one. So yeah, Ross, I, I can't even weigh in on that. Wait, Sean, was double grid in your box that box that I didn't get? Yes, double grid. Um have you had it yet? Wait, when did we do double? No. Oh, you know what? I think double grid was the one we did on. No, we definitely did double grid. Okay, have was you that really... on the last Yeah, we yeah we definitely reviewed it. We have like. I don't know. No, we, we had so much I, I always complain we never had enough. Grid? Yeah. So I don't because I, I have double, yeah, double grid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. I mean, and it helped for me, Rod, because my friend Jerome and I are trying to get as many as we can to trade each other. So, like, I ordered double so I could, you know, so if the shipping didn't oh. seem so bad because it was, you know, a little bit more. So maybe, maybe have, I don't know if you have anyone local or whatever you'd want to up the order to kind of help justify the, um, you know, the cost. But I, what it was, uh, I think it's for people who are like, what are you guys talking about? I think it's craftshack.com. They had three. And one of them is the one I want to try the most. It's um, Crowns and Hops, which is a brewery that's opening in Inglewood, California. They had done a Kickstarter a while ago that I donated to just because I think it's like, yeah, we need more breweries that aren't just dudes who look like me. So I was like, yeah, I'll donate to that. But I haven't had, been able to try their beer yet because they're not open yet and they're on the other you know, side of the country. So I was like, wait, they, they're actually going to be able to ship their beer to me. Uh, through this website so i was like well that's one of the three that they have on the website so i'm like i definitely want to pull a trigger um yeah they're cool by the way kentucky is weird on beer show oh interesting uh rod what's the best way to uh ping you privately because i have things i could send you do you are you on <laughs> facebook with him at all or you could go through uh, me on facebook i can do instagram is instagram easy instagram i mean rod weigh in obviously it, it, you know but yeah. Uh, yeah, Rod. So some people are definitely not brewing it to the recipe. I mean, whether it's sold was, you know, it, to them it's more the the point of it than how true you are to the style. So no, yeah, because yeah, I think Rod, you watched that Goose Island when I did. They still had Imperial Stout on the can, and, and Ross, thanks again for sending it. It was five point two. Like that's not it. Oh really? It was five point two. Yeah, but the I tell you what, man, I don't know if you watched that review or not. That flavor was really good yeah. for the ten percenters I've had. Really? What's up, Violent by Design? Hello, hello. Hey man, what's going on? Rod, what's up, my man? Yeah. And again, I'll say it one more time. If you don't watch Rod's channel, make sure you check Rod out. Um, yeah, no, good dude for sure. But yeah, Rod, uh, connect with Sean for sure, man. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, yeah cause I think I have one from uh, Somerville Brewery in Somerville, Mass. Aeronaut. Theirs is a 6.5% oatmeal stout. I scored a four-pack. I'm going to send some. Kyle's going to get one. Matt's going to get one. We're going to kind of hopefully do a thing i, I guess six and a half percent that that means we could technically do two on a live stream right like you could do that one yeah. and then <laughs> um yeah. and then and then like finbacks is like a coffee sale that's nine percent and then i got one from lord hobo that's a seven percent and they say imperial seven like seven percent is not imperial people <laughs> <laughs> recently got milled a bottle of life from founders oh you have to try the beer tree one night what did you think mm -hmm. of? I, mean, I did a review of that and that's a, a relatively local brewery to me um I, it was in a crawler with my friend tim hooked me up which was awesome because i missed out on the cans have you have you had wait, okay recently got mailed about so you probably haven't tried the founders one yet i think that was a lower abv version too how you feeling about a sunday nice yeah what's the best beer right now in each of your possession fridge whoa in your possession slash fridge <laughs> That's a that's a loaded question. Man. This is like one of those things like you're not supposed to ever have dead air, but like I gotta think about this one. That's that's hard. Like uh, KP, what if we just did it to what's in your fridge? Because possessions that fridge and then what's in your possession also possession means seller right so yeah if, if you go just fridge it's a little bit easier of a question to answer but oh shit that's hard i think in my fridge i still have you know what i, I did that treehouse run and the there was this one beer in particular that really just 
hit it for me was the um, uh, Perfect Storm. Yeah. That one just hit on all cylinders. And I think I have one can of that still in my fridge. I, I mean, because it's like that punch one was a letdown um, as an example from them. So I was like, yeah, I, I can see some people, you know, in like whatever you try to be objective, but like Treehouse is Treehouse. So like they're, they're not always cranking out hits, but they do crank out a bunch. You know, I mean, they, they, they deserve the, the you know praise they get. And then I had that perfect storm amongst this nice variety of beers I had from them. And it just, that really, I thought hit on all cylinders. Yeah. Um, okay. So he, he's mean seller, but yes, go with fridge. So, and then, and then I'll, as Sean's going, I'll try to think about my seller. Yeah. I, and I would just add for the, the perfect storm. I really, really, really loved. I never really liked hurricane. I never really liked, um, typhoon, Is super that typhoon. Yeah. Until Mike and I went to the anniversary party like two years ago, and they had like variants with, like guava and stuff, and I was like, "Oh, this beer is really good." But then I still never really cared for it. But then I had Perfect Storm, and I was like, "Holy crap, this was just like an escalation." Um, my fridge right now, my fridge is so packed. Um, I would probably have to say, yeah, I have to look up the name real quick. It's I, I just drank it last night. I went to a brewery called Notch, and it's a uh, Polish lager. I know, right? And that's going to be something you wouldn't expect anyone to say. <laughs> it seems like up as a side note, and this is not a very hyped beer. Um, the uh, you know what I bought a twelve pack of is the Dogfish Head Sequench. I think just for like a summer low ABV beer, like I love margaritas, and I think that beer kind of drinks like a, a margarita that has you know the ice is melted. That beer I think is phenomenal. I have that in the fridge too. Anyway, do you find it, Sean? Yeah, it's um. So it's Notch Brewing's. It's Lojko. How would you pronounce this? L O J K O. Lojko. 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 Yeah. Lojko. Yeah, it's a Polish lager. Um, so I went to Notch yesterday, and they, and they do a lot of like they're known for their session beers, and they do some. Do you get Notch up there? No, I don't think so. Like their session pills and like their like left of dial like session IPA those like you can get everywhere, okay. uh, but like their at brewery stuff is is really well done. And I went yesterday and I just bought a shitload of lagers. And the funny thing was, I they didn't have this on draft, so I only got a four pack, not really knowing what to expect from it. And I had a bunch of other stuff, and then I bought extras of that, and I only bought one four pack of this. And I opened a can of this last night, and I looked at Carrie, and I was like, I should have just bought a whole case of this. This is like the best thing they've done. Like it's it, it and, and it probably makes sense why they didn't have it on draft. Like I bet people were just like crushing it. Like yeah. and it's like what is it four? It's four and a half percent. It's like uh just this like dry hop pale ale. It's just uh, not pale, sorry, um, lager, Polish lager. That's just out of this world is like super crisp there's loads of flavor um it probably is the best thing in my fridge like i have so many other things in my fridge right but like what are you saying uh, offline when we were talking um it was like was it mckellar or someone had a three percent beer yeah that was so good um uh, mckellar it was a uh, i don't even it was a mckellar pilsner that was like three percent um and it was i think it was like 3.3 percent about how much flavor they got out of three percent i, I couldn't even imagine how much flavor that, that that came out of that beer like i was expecting just like a straight like you know lager that was just you know just you just drink it and it just is like watery and whatnot but it was like there was so much flavor but the funny thing was the liquor store i go to um one of the guys i talk to all the time he he, he saw it in my cart and he goes dude that that i had that beer last night it is outstanding there's so much flavor in it and i was like ah, we'll see about that <laughs> it's percent, man. Come on. and then and then i was going to give it to um and, and, and I, I, I was giving out some beer and another guy that was like dude i'm, I'm miller light all day long i don't do oh, that the story was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't waste your craft on me and i gave it to me he's like wow that's actually really good and i was like <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome the um now to try to switch the seller that's hard that's really hard because yeah i i have some new glares fruit beers in my cellar that my my friend jim who had lived in wisconsin i moved back to california but it lives by russian river now so that's all good but um like those they're low abv they're they're just these delicious uh, fruit beers i don't know if they're the best i have in my cellar but like and i'll i'll mention them too i mean bourbon county i just i, I love those yeah beers. So, um and i have some of those i just realized i still have a strawberry rhubarb in uh in in, in the fridge so I may have, so my answer may kind of change. Like, Mike and I have been saving that last strawberry rhubarb. We're like, we'll open it this time. We'll open it this time. We'll it. We got to share it with the wives, and then they'll be like, nah, we'll just drink it ourselves. They won't really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I was wrong. Okay, so Founders is a 10% beer. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, the peanut butter fudge. Duh, yes. And then beer tree, a little, okay, that's fair. I think I think saying it's a little thin is fair. Have you ever um, had a beer tree stout before? What's up? I don't, have you ever had a beer tree stout before? Yeah, yeah, they have a really nice, um, was it Morning Timber? It's like a coffee maple stout they do. Mm-hmm. I think they do like a light version of it. I know mm-hmm. Joe from the Beer Patrol has reviewed at least the regular, maybe a vanilla one. It was a vanilla variant. But anyway, that's a good one. I did a barrel-aged version of it review. Um, yeah, they, they do stouts. Uh, not, okay. I don't drink a ton of their stouts, and I actually can't name too many more of their stouts. Yeah, the, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. Yeah, Treehouse. Fair, fair enough, right? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, the, Jenny Dream. I haven't. No, I, I'm, I'm going to try to wait for um, Mike and I to get together again so that we can split it. That's – so I – I do kind of, maybe I should kind of think about it. I try not to get like too into like, I really want this beer like this, you know, I, I not, I'm not a Buddhist, but I kind of like that idea of like not wanting things. That being said, that beer would be high on my list. <laughs> like that, I, you know, my grandfather, he loves cream, Matt, Jenny cream. You know, we, we, we've had a lot of that in our, our lives. So like that, and it's really cool they do that beer, period. But like that, yeah, I was, I was excited. And Jenny Cream is a good beer too. It's like it, it's solid. It's, it's easy to drink. It's a good beer. And my grandfather likes other beer too, but that's like a go-to for him. I had yeah, Morning Timber with blue, ooh, blueberries. Ooh, nice. Brad I don't know all day. That sounds, like. That's rad. It sounds delicious. Yeah, because and I mean Sean threw me, but also I think one of the you saw them at an Extreme Beer Fest too, right? Beer Tree. Yes, at, a, at an extreme beer fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For mostly the IPAs, I feel like the the um, creamsicle IPAs for sure. I sent your guys way. Oh, so good. So maybe yeah, you probably, I guess your your world view of them would be a little bit limiting. Um, with the blueberry one, that'd be cool. I'm, I'm okay. Or do you mean the Jenny Dream? Oh, the wait. Oh, oh don't oh, don't no. don't play that game with me. <laughs> play that game with me um if that is true yes definitely please get at me because that would be that's yeah yeah i thought that might be a fun video to do because again i really try not to think like that but like oh he has your seven minutes from the half there you go all right all right he's like we'll chat we'll chat yeah i mean i try you know it's all good life is good you know what it happens it doesn't happen i'm not gonna you know but that would be absolutely that would blow my mind Nice. Yeah, Joe. So if, if people don't know, Joe just posted on uh, YouTube. He's going to start releasing videos again uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. He did one of those because um, he got over the thousand so he can do those community tabs oh, and the uh, a community posts, whatever they're called. So he did put up that he'll, the reviews will resume on Monday. He appreciated people who reached out. I know Sean and I had reached out to him, making sure everything's cool. He's fine and all that. Uh, he thinks everything's behind him. And I'm, I'm not blowing up the spot. This is all part of what he put out there on YouTube. So, um, yeah, the, the Joe that he's mentioning uh, is Joe from the Beer Patrol, another person people should check out. And uh, his video should uh, resume tomorrow, according to him. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah. He's just a good dude. I, yeah, he's – it just sucks because he had some of that stuff out forever. But, um, yeah. Man, it's just, just what a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then they did, they had cool glasses for that um, Dream Ale too. The first one I think was a Tiku. And then, then Matt from Massive, right? He showed us a picture. He got the new glass, I think. Was that? it like a, no, it wasn't a, it was like a craft, not a craft master glass. Was it a, um... it wasn't quite that, but yeah, but it was a cool looking glass. I, I do remember that. Um, Man, I'm so excited. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Rod. It'll be good to see Joe back. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it just, I, I felt bad, you know, and again, like, cause some stuff we talked about o- offline, some stuff he's put online. So I want to respect him and his privacy. But like, it just kind of sucked because he was able to, like, oh, yeah, I, I can be back now, you know, and then it, was, it seemed like it wasn't too long and then he, he had to stop. Yeah. Um, I think he, he kind of, you know, Wanted to wait till like, yep, I, I, I totally can go again. Um, he also might have a decent amount of a backlog, so he might be able to burn through some stuff he filmed a while ago, 
which might help. So, but yeah, he, apparently everything is fine. That's what he told Sean and me, and that's what he posted to the internet. So I, I think that's pretty fair and, and uh, okay to say. I don't think I'm you know blowing up his spot. Yeah. We just did hit the one hour mark. Bruno's trying to get into my door. That's the other glass. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's a, um, what's that called? Oh, Willie Belcher. Right? Much love for Joe. Yeah, Joe's awesome. And, and like Joe. Joe, Joe's like a wonderkin. Like he just freaking, you know, he, he started releasing videos and he just do took off and he deserves all of it. Yeah, I like to bust his chops. He likes to bust my chops, but Joe's is just a good dude. A uh, really awesome dude had a blast with him the time me him and oh no jinx nice nice no jinx and i randomly grew up in the same area we don't know each other in real life but yeah just super random and it's like wait you reviewed this beer from like my hometown i'm like it's my hometown <laughs> so, yeah, it'd be cool to get to know jeff but yeah violent uh, by design definitely yeah get at me man that'd be that would blow my mind um all right. And like I said, check out Sean, check out Rod J, check out uh, Kent Beer Reviews, check out Joe from the Beer Patrol. If I'm, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone else who does beer reviews who chimed in, but definitely check out everyone. Um, you know, I really appreciate watching this stream, obviously. I really appreciate Jeremiah Hot Butcher uh, for sending us these beers. I know Sean. Always, yes. Right. Thank you so much. This yeah, is Rod, I'm glad he sent you stuff. And I, I assume he's been sending Joe stuff too. So Joe might have a bunch of. Uh, hot butcher stuff coming out as well. Spend so look out for that. But uh, yeah, so definitely check out all those guys. Anything? Any last words, Sean? No, no. This was this was fun. This is this this is a good way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Awesome, man. I always, I always love talking to you, man. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. Te uh, check out Nerd Sense at was it Instagram is Nerd Sense. Yeah, you can just go to nerdsense.net and from there, and it's all there as well. Yeah. yeah um and uh as always please like comment subscribe most importantly imbibe, imbibe. cheers everyone <laughs>